Now, imagine yourself being at a job interview. There are three people conducting the interview, so it's a panel. One of them is a HR manager, and two from the department you're interviewing for. You're sitting there by yourself, and they started firing questions at you. Tell me about yourself. Can you give me one instance that you have solved a difficult problem? What would you do if your teammate complained about you to your team leader? What's your biggest weakness? What is your biggest strength? Where do you see yourself in five years? And you are sitting there like, why do they have so many dreaded questions? Don't they see from my resume that I'm totally qualified? Actually, no, they don't see it. The reason is, from a business or employer's perspective, hiring someone is kind of risky. What if this person is not a good match to the position? What if the person is not being honest? And once this person is hired, it's kind of difficult to let him or her go. What if the person left the company only after working a very short period of time? For the company, it may cost a lot of money to train an employee. So, from the employer's perspective, they want to make sure they hire the right people. They want to minimize their risk, and they want to maximize their reward. How are they going to do it? By being extremely selective. First of all, they want to make sure you are a good match to the position you are applying for. This is the most basic requirement, and then on top of that, they want to make sure you have integrity. You are honest, trustworthy. Don't overpromise. Don't have a huge ego. You show up on time, etc. So this is where a lot of job candidates get confused. The interviewer may ask something like, "Can you give me one instance you have solved a difficult problem?" The purpose of this question is that they need a concrete example that you did something you said you did in your resume, and they're gonna look for inconsistencies in your story. A lot of job candidates do not understand the purpose of this question, so they just make up stuff on the fly. It is actually pretty easy for the interviewer to spot something that doesn't make sense in your story. To answer this kind of question correctly, you have to prepare. Preparation is the key. So now you are a good match for the position, and you are a good person. You have a very consistent story to tell. Finally, the interviewers want to decide. If you are better than other candidates, if you are the best among all the candidates with the same qualification, the interviewers will look for something extra, something that other job candidates do not have, and they can tell whether you have this something extra from the way you carry yourself. If you have a confidence, if you are passionate, what's your body language? What's your posture? How do you communicate? What's the tone of your voice? What is your facial expression? This something extra eventually will get you the dream job you're looking for, and further advance your career. So, what do you do? To nail any job interview, you need to nail three things. You need to prepare by practicing over and over again. Secondly, you need to do a lot of research. You need to research about the company. You need to research about the position. And finally, you need to have a strategy. You need to have a story. You need to understand yourself really well. The best method, the key to achieve all the things I mentioned, I found, is to do mock interviews through training and practice. You will be the best version of yourself, and you will be the best among all the job candidates. My name is Huan Chen, and I wish you best of luck.